Hey guys, so today I want to check out the official Android 4.3 Jelly Bean here on the Note 2 versus the iPhone 5s uh, with iOS 7.3, the internet browser here. So uh, I did update to this a few days ago when it was available. You can see here about device. There you go, Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. Uh, so let's just pop up the browser. The first thing that you will notice uh, with the browser is that it's not in full screen mode. It doesn't get the full screen mode that you would get in the S4 and the Note 3 with the Android 4.3, which I find a little bit weird. Uh, but it is a last generation model, so um, I, I guess that's that's okay. But it's a little bit weird there with the fragmentation on Android. Uh, and as well with the tab system, it's not even updated to the new uh, updated tab system, which is extremely bad because this tab system it is kind of quick though, uh, I even think it's uh, quicker than what you would get on the S4 and the Note 3, which is a little bit awkward, uh, but uh, it doesn't look as good and it's not even close to as effective as the tab system here uh, with Safari browser. Now be aware in this video I'm comparing the stock browsers on both devices, no other browser at the moment. So. Um, Let's uh, let's let's move on here and let's see here when we go in and out. Uh, what I notice here is that it kind of looks better, uh, ironically, uh, on the Note 2 here when you zoom in and out uh, in terms of re-rendering stuff uh, compared to the S4 with the Android 4.3. It could maybe because of that you have a 1080p screen. Uh, on the S4 and it has to re-render a lot of things. Here you can see it's used as on the iPhone uh, which is very very good to know. Super super good performance here. Um, very very impressive compared to the S4 that doesn't look as impressive. And uh, just tap on this and it jumps uh, straight into this little article here you can see the loading time is crushing here uh, way better in the safari browser and um, also going back to the previous page here you have to click back but uh, on the iphone you can just swipe here on the side so i mean you can just see how much quicker it is it's already back this one has to re-render everything so extremely extremely clever way there to apple that uh, you know that when you tap something you can instantly go back to the previous page uh, without having to worry uh, about anything uh, if you take a look at scrolling up and down as well uh, let's see here this is still crushing way better here on the note 2 because you can just scroll quicker up and down from the bottom to the top with just like one simple hard swipe uh, which you I mean you have to do like 50 swipes on the iPhone uh, to go from the top to the bottom now some people for them it's not a problem but for me it's a little bit annoying you have this nice feature as well of course uh, with Samsung devices desktop view here so you can get the full experience uh, usually on iPhones it will load a mobile version of the website uh, which you might find a little bit annoying. Uh, I definitely find annoying. Uh, so let's just tap on this little article here. And they both have a reading mode, uh, which is pretty great. Well, the new HTC One Max. Maybe I should pick that one up. No, probably not. Uh, okay, so uh, we have loaded uh, up this... Uh, this good little thing here. Uh, so if you want to just read the article, of course, reading mode on both devices. Uh, you can see quicker here uh, on the iPhone, loading everything up quicker. As you see, can we tap on a picture? No. We can't zoom in here. Maybe they have a few settings. No, maybe it's just clean like this. Uh, here you can change the text size. So that could be a good little thing to know. But I definitely love that scrolling thing. I uh, would love if Apple could make a way so you can tweak that. Uh, so, um, used a quick little look here uh, at this. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. Uh, if you did, you can leave a like down below and hopefully I will see you all in the next video. Yeah, peace out.